Can artificial intelligence replace architects in the future? In the last week, I've been testing an AI program that can generate architecture designs based on some text guidelines. And turns out, these designs are very good. So I end up with this question. Can an AI algorithm really replace an architect? If that is true, in the future, it will be possible to just tell an AI machine what kind of building and space we want, and the algorithm will generate a complete project design. Once the design is done, the data will be sent to a 3D printer to just print the building. So millions of jobs in architecture and construction field will be extinguished. And the most scary is that, nowadays buildings are designed by architects because they have the technical skills but also the sensibility and the art of creating spaces that inspires and improves humans' life. But in the future, if we rely on AI machines to create architecture, we will just let algorithms shape the way we live. So what is artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence is a simulation of human intelligence processes by machines, especially computer systems. It is a technology that allows computers to learn from human experience by iterative processing and algorithm training. And artificial intelligence can learn based on the information they collect. The four types of artificial intelligence are reactive machines, able to perceive and react to the world in front of it as it performs limited tasks, limited memory, able to store paste data and predictions to create predictions of what may come next, theory of mind, able to make decisions based on its perceptions and how others feel and make decisions, and self-awareness, able to operate with human level consciousness and understand its own existence. Nowadays, we can see some examples of artificial intelligence systems, like for example, Siri, Alexa, or other smart assistants, and self-driving cars. But how can we use artificial intelligence in architecture? Well, artificial intelligence allows computers to create generative design systems. With these systems, architects, designers, and engineers input design goals into the generative design software, along with information about performance or spatial requirements, materials, manufacturing methods, and cost constraints. And the algorithm quickly generates new design proposals. This feature is already being used in Autodesk softwares to improve the efficiency in the design process. And I believe that the more we use these features, the more data they will collect and the more the algorithm will improve and create better designs. So can artificial intelligence replace architects? Designing a building involves a range of knowledge of building rules, codes and ergonomics that can be learned by a machine. And with artificial intelligence, machines can also learn how humans design and recreate a style. But can they really understand the architectural atmosphere in a way that expresses harmony, well-being and beauty? Because architecture is not just about the building. It's primarily about the human experience within a space. So I don't think technology and artificial intelligence will replace architects. However, it is a great tool to be managed by architects and designers to improve their design process. So how can artificial intelligence improve architecture? It will make the planning process much easier and efficient, in less time and with less errors, giving us new design solutions that we can manipulate and retouch with our human sensibility. This means architects will spend less time in repetitive tasks and will have more time to develop the research and the creative process. And I believe artificial intelligence will force us to become better every day. Machines can learn with us and we can learn with them. So we may need less architects in the future, but the ones that will still be working will have higher skills. Let me know your opinion about this topic in the comments. And if you like this content, please share and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.